All right, so in this part of the lab, we are going to talk about the marginal models. And one example of that marginal model is the, the GEE model that we have discussed in our class. So for this uh, GE model, we are going to use uh, the one of the data sets from the Brian Average's book. And this is the respiratory data set where we have center, treatment, gender, age, status, month, and subject. Where um, you can see this status variable is basically the outcome of this uh, regression. And then we generally talk about uh, what we can do about the non-normal distributions and we have previously seen that we can use some sort of logistic regression and Poisson regression to deal with um, non-normal type of distributions such as binary or categorical variables but in here we are going to use a different type of model because we are dealing with uh, longitudinal data set and in this um, particular model, uh, this GE model, what we are going to do is we are going to consider the um, observations from same subjects uh, as independent observations when we are trying to get the initial estimate for the GE as if we are fitting a GLM. Um, but when we are going to talk about the correlation structure we are going to have a assumed correlation structure um, and some of this assumption could be identity matrix where we assume that um, all of the repeated measures are independent we can have exchangeability correlation matrix where we assume that correlation between each pair of the repeated measurement um, is the same we can consider um, a uh, autoregressive or AR1 correlation matrix where we um, consider that the observations that are close together they are correlated the observations that are far away they are less correlated and we can again use the unstructured correlation coefficient but then again the problem with that is we are going to work uh, with estimating a lot of um, correlation parameters uh, if we are go going down this particular route so in this particular lab, um, the data set respiratory that we are using, we can just for sake of checking, we can use a basic logistic regression to check the parameter estimate and the parameter estimates are reported here. And you can see some standard error estimates here as well. Um, so when we are using a proper GEE with um, all of the adjustment variables and we specify the independence correlation you will see the parameter estimates are not going to be different um, but um, in some way you can see the naive standard errors are going to be very similar to the standard errors that you get from a GLM or lowest regression because we are essentially operating under the same assumption that uh, we uh, all of the observations uh, or the repeated measurements are independent that is why the naive standard errors are not going to be very different but when you are say for example what are the naive standard error point three three seven was the first uh, standard naive standard error associated with the intercept and if we are using a exchangeable correlation we can see point estimates are going to be exactly the same but um, here the naive estimate is somewhat different uh, 0.478 whereas in here it was um, 0.3 something right so immediately you can see as soon as you are using a uh, exchangeable correlation matrix you can see the difference in the naive standard error and you can try to compare different coefficients um, and the standard errors and you can see the estimates are exactly the same um, the standard errors are exactly the same uh, when you are comparing the standard error from the logistic when you are comparing the naive standard error that you get from the GE under the independence assumption right when you are operating under the GE but the exchangeable exchangeable condition you can see the naive standard errors are going to be different 
again if you are going to use the robust standard error because you are um, using some sort of cluster here right so the cluster was subject then you will get um, robust standard error that are going to be very similar all right so so far we have worked with um, non uh, normal outcomes such as the binary outcome so let us work with the uh, BDI which was a continuous outcome right and we can use the G under this independence and then we get some result and then we can use the exchangeability assumption and we get some result and then we can try to compare see in the exchangeability now we have more correlation 0.67 and what was the naive standard error 2.3 uh, under the exchangeability and 1.48 under the uh, independence what was the robust standard error 2.269 and here 2.23 so in terms of the robust standard error you can see um, here we are getting some difference whereas in the previous example uh, the difference was very minor all right so the last section is more about comparing the results so at first let us try to compare um, the results from the mixed model um, and the results from the G um, and what does what do they look like so we are again working with a binary outcome and we can fit the GLM ER uh, with the random slope uh, for the subject and we see that it is not really giving us a good convergence so it will give you some result but the, it is giving you the warning that the model failed to converge and then um, we are using a different package so the first package we have used was the LME4 and GLMR was a function from there and then we are using a different package FX and we are using the function mixed that we will essentially see look at the course the course look very similar in these two packages again uh, you will see there will be some problem with respect to the convergence so the model failed to converge uh, converge with max and all that so obviously there is some problem going on with this model associated with the uh, mixed model um, so what we do uh, is we are switching gear again to come back to g model and we fit this model but there was no problem that was associated with this particular model and remember that we were using this g function uh, which was uh, from the ge package we can also use different um, g package such as g pack uh, and that gives us g glm and we essentially fit the same model in here uh, we specify the binomial um, family and the correlation structure is exchangeable and we can also try to figure out uh, which correlation structure is going to be useful for us uh, so we fit three different correlation structure we fit exchangeable we fit independence and we fit AR1 and we basically check the QIC for all of these different models so the first model was associated with the exchangeability second model was associated with the independence and the third model was associated with the AR1 we basically try to look at only the QIC value uh, that are reported here and the smaller the better and in that context and this QIC associated with the exchangeable remember this G4 was associated with exchangeable that model comes out to be a winner so we are just con comparing our uh, correlation structure using this QIC uh, but how about the variables how do how do we check them to check the variables we can use this um, other metric uh, QICU and for that we need to fit a bunch of regression uh, with different um, co covariate structure so now we are not talking about correlation uh, structure anymore because we have already decided based on QIC that exchangeable is going to be our model but then I we again have to check our um, QICU based on this correlation structure and um, looks like from all of this fit we the QICU from the full model was the uh, smallest so that gives us some indication of 
which variables we should keep in our GE model. Remember we had a model fit from the mixed model uh, where our result did not really converge and we used another package uh, FX and we again had the same problem that the model did not really converge. So uh, it does not really matter whether the estimates are close or not. Um, we are not going to believe in too much in a model that didn't really converge even though the results look uh, somewhat similar here um, but when we are using GEE we are getting marginalized models so even if these models were converging these estimates are not really comparable with these estimates so the GE estimates uh, should not be compared with the uh, mixed model estimates that you get and in terms of the this this was a fit from the GEE function and this was a fit from the GEGLM. Uh, so from different packages we were getting these estimates and if you look closely with the estimates the estimates are very similar. But in terms of the standard error G function provides you the naive standard error and robust st uh, standard error whereas the GEGLM is providing you the standard error which look very close to the robust standard error. Uh, but the nice thing or nice feature about the G pack or the G GLM function is that you can directly use the QIC function from the uh, MuMin package and that will give you the ability to compare. So the last point that I was uh, trying to uh, convey here is that when you are trying to compare the G model with the mixed model, um, the interpretations are different for these two models. Uh, for the mixed model you are getting the interpretation for a conditional model. Uh, for the G model you are getting the interpretation for a marginal model which is population averaged. Uh, so the comparison of these estimates from these two models might not be appropriate.